Probably use this time to talk about what's going on with Telltale and everything where that is concerned. So I covered on an earlier stream, though I didn't release it as a video, and I, I honestly should. Um, in fact, actually, I'll probably release it as a video right before this one. So I might actually be a liar in the middle of this recording. Um, but I covered an audio that was leaked from uh, basically Telltale's daughter's uh, teacher, where she basically made arguments against gay people, said that all the kids would be burning in hell eventually, uh, because one day they'd know, and then admitted also that she knows that what she's doing is wrong, uh, but that she would slip that rhetoric into every conversation uh, that she could. Which is, again, wrong. Like, there's there's nothing right about that. That is gross. Not only are you telling kids that they are, you know, terrible, they're going to burn in hell, etc. That's all bad, but but pointing out that you know what you're doing is, is incorrect. It is a risk for your job. Like, you know whole well what you're doing. There's no ignorance here, and then just doing it anyway. Now, there's a problem here, and that is that the uh, Christian persecution narrative uniquely allows you to engage in this kind of rhetoric unironically, because when you do so, it's almost as if you're having a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're creating the world in which you will necessarily be, quote, persecuted, and then arguing for the merits of that persecution. Now, I do not like this, this mode of operation, obviously. I think that it, it forces people, especially Christians, to try to engage in uh, victim mentality where they can put themselves in situations where they will be victimized so that they can fulfill some persecution quota that they feel they need to. Not a big fan. Do not like, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not on board with that kind of thinking to begin with. But it gets worse. See, that was the story so far when we talked about it originally. Now things get a bit worse when we look at what happened afterwards, the fallout. So, here, I'm going to pull some stuff up real quick. And we're going to go ahead and talk about this real quick. Uh, or I'm not going to be able to because I'm not able to pull up what I was hoping to pull up. That, uh, that sucks. Give me just one second. See if I can, I can grab this, what I'm looking for. Aha! Here we go. Here we are. This is where we're going to be centering our conversation. Let's go ahead and, and turn on that screen. So, let's look at this article. Milton Middle School Teacher Scrutinized for In-Class Comments. Now, just scrutinized when you're telling kids they're going to barbecue. Maybe not the best verbiage here. But a health teacher at Milton High School has caused a stir in the community after an audio recording surfaced of remarks she made in class pertaining to her personal beliefs and the Bible. Teacher Karen Ashworth's, of course her name is Karen. Of course. But Karen Ashworth's commentary, which continued for about three minutes, occurred during a lesson seemingly aimed towards the subject of abstinence, but that took a turn to religion when she addressed topics such as sexual orientation and same-sex relationships with her students. In the audio recording shown by Owen Morgan, the father of a student, the teacher seems to imply that non-Christians are not and cannot be brought up with morals and values. If you're a teacher and you tell me that me as an atheist cannot bring up a child with moral and morals and values... I'm going to have problems with you. We're going to have meetings. We're going to have conferences. No ifs, ands, or buts. Ashford admitted that she is aware that she's not allowed to promote her personal religious beliefs in the class, and she can be heard in the recording saying that she tries to squeeze in a little bit without getting in too much trouble. Now, she said that she doesn't believe in same-sex uh, relationships when teaching students about hormonal changes during puberty. The quote from the audio, which again, you can look at the other uh, video for the audio if you want, but she says, the thing is you have to choose. 
What are you going to do with those feelings and thoughts? And if you are brought up with morals and values, then God's going to be there to help you make better decisions. If a kid turns out to be gay and you're this kid's teacher, you're going to have to tell this kid repeatedly that they're just not making good decisions, according to you. That's what this leads to. Morgan responded Thursday to the audio recording providing a uh, provided by his daughter on his YouTube channel, Telltale, which includes several videos criticizing uh, evangelical culture. In a profanity-laced video, <clears throat> fuck shit ass bitch. There we go. Now our video is, is profanity-laced as well. Because I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now. If you are less worried about a teacher arguing that kids are going to be barbecued and more worried about wordy dirds, then fuck you. And fuck you hard. Not in the enjoyable way. So, in this profanity-laced video, he said he didn't plan to make the information public yet, but made several threats to ruin Ashworth's career in the video, which has surpassed over 80,000 views by Friday morning. A Cabell County Schools official said that the administration was aware of the situation and that a district-level investigation has been completed. As with all investigations, issues are, if issues are found, they are addressed. We expect no further issues related to the matter. A public Facebook group called Support an Excellent Cabell County Teacher now has 1,600 members, and a group leader organized a protest at the bottom of the hill leading to the middle school, which happened early Friday morning. All right. A Milton Gas Station changed their company sign in support of the teacher. Uh, Morgan reportedly contacted the Freedom from Religion Foundation, a nationwide nonprofit created. And we don't need to go any further here because now we get to move into my part of the conversation. <clears throat> so for those who don't know, this has escalated. I want you to imagine what a witch hunt looks like for a second. And this is not a witch hunt for dear Karen. I want you to just imagine what it looks like for a second, okay? I want you to imagine that you're in a town. You've got kids. Now, I want you to imagine adults on your local Facebook arguing that they would kidnap your child. Just, just think about it for a second. Think about what your mental health would look like after that. Just consider... Not everybody got a good, good thought in their head? Everybody's got that in there? Okay, cool, cool. Other YouTubers have screenshots of all this fun stuff. I did not make it into any of these Facebook groups around the time that they put out, but if you are so inclined, you will be able to find these screenshots if that is, if that is truly what you want to do. But let's go ahead and talk about some other stuff that has happened here. Uh, pictures had been taken of, or at least we assume had been taken, of Telltale's house. Because after the child was doxxed, uh, let me repeat, a child, Telltale's child, was doxxed by local <clears throat> activists. People started driving by Telltale's house repeatedly. Now let's, I'm not, I'm not going to go further into that, Make any make of that what you will. But I do want to also point out that over and above that, we had not only the kidnapping conversations on Facebook, not only the happenstance of people constantly driving by the houses, not only did we have an entire town turning against one of its residents in defense of another, when that other said that the kids would be barbecued, we have a town where many of the local residents were arguing that they would violently attack Telltale in order to take the daughter. This is over and above just kidnapping. This is now threats of assault. Now, Facebook pages about this, from what I understand, have been taken down. They are no longer uh, allowed to be up because, of course, once the pitch sparks start coming out, this isn't safe for anybody. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if any of those pages are up right now. 
looking to see if I can see anything on Facebook real quick, but I'm not, I'm not seeing anything immediately. And as I'm in the middle of recording, if it's not found immediately, then I'm going to go ahead and abandon. I'm also having to see that Opera is being very slow and I do not like it. But regardless, I want you to put yourselves in the shoes of somebody who is getting harassed by everybody in their local town. I want you to now consider that these people are arguing they will kidnap your child. I want you to put yourself in this person's shoes and ask me what would you do? Well, what Telltale's done is he's fled because there's there's no safety there. There's no there's no way to come back from this, right? There's no way to have personal safety anymore once that has happened. There's none. You're you're out. We had the segment earlier on the stream about Todd Frile arguing that no, no, evangelicals aren't crazy, and you know it's it's it, it, for the most part no, they're not. But what was that? that the argument ended up actually turning out being it's not that they were all crazy; it's that they are uniquely susceptible to conspiracy theory. Christians in this county were uniquely susceptible to conspiracy theory and then engaged in harassment of Telltale, forcing him to flee the entire state. Now, Telltale does have a video about this, obviously. He's a YouTuber, so it would be very awkward if he didn't. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up real quick. Telltale has... This video here from four days ago. We will look at it very briefly. The next article I wanted to talk about is titled, A Student Recorded a West Virginia Health Teacher Denouncing Non-Christians in Class. This is on the Friendly Atheist website, written by Hemant Mehta. But this story is pretty close to me. I am the person being written about in this story, and my daughter is the student who recorded the health teacher. Now, I don't know if you guys were aware of that or not, so I'm going to start from the very beginning because some people may be unaware of, you know, the situation, what's been going on and what. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and play all of that there because if you want to watch Telltale's video, you can, and I will have it linked in the description below. In fact, actually, while we are having this conversation, I'm going to go ahead and link it in the chat so you all can check that out if that is your jam. Though, if your jam is not Telltale, my question is why. Uh, Telltale's a great guy. I would highly recommend checking out his stuff. I actually have some 3D printed stuff from him as well because his Etsy shop is also cool. But all that aside, fact of the matter is there is more information for this over on Telltale's side of things. There's also a donation link uh, that will be in the description of this video uh, if you want to help with the sudden moving costs and everything that's associated with this because... <laughs> moving isn't cheap, especially when you're having to get out of a garbage area immediately and break uh, rental agreements and all that other fun stuff. So there will be information available for those who need it. And I'll have that in the description of this when it is in video form. But so what do we do here? Well, one, I'd say uh, we need to stick up for one of our own, honestly and truly. So if you guys can do me the biggest of favors, Go to the description, check out Telltale's channel, check out the videos by him. Also, if you are so inclined, please go ahead and donate to Telltale or go over to Telltale's Etsy shop and pick up something from over there. Anything that can help right now in the situation. I hopefully presented enough of a case as to why nobody would want this to happen to them and presented as much of the information as possible within the amount of time that I've got with the amount of energy that I have uh, to make this understandable for everybody in the audience. So please check out that stuff. Please check out those resources. Please check out Telltale, sub to his channel, and also do what you can to help out if you have the ability to. As always, everyone, insert into video tagline here, and don't be a shitty person.